Yeah, let's hook up tomorrow because I need to get those files. Oh, by the way, they don't have Pro Tools, so we got to save it as a WAV file. Back in the day, you know, I, I just showed up being the drummer and focused on just drums. Well, the way the music industry went, I'm totally aware of not just the drums and how to tune, I'm aware of mic positioning, the way the room sounds, preamps and EQs. I know how to turn the computers on and record to Pro Tools. The thing is, is that my awareness of all the gear and not just drums has increased a lot. I'd be recording in the biggest studios, like for example, in LA it'd be like A&M, Record Plant, NRG, Cello, on and on and on and on. The standard gear that you would see in every studio would be the Yamaha NS10s, and I now have the updated version of my studio, the HS8s. The reason why these speakers became standard back then, they still are standard, is they give you a great picture of what you're recording. If your recording sounds good on those speakers, then you're gonna have a great recording. And the cool thing is, it's affordable. You can really drill these speakers hard. So, you know, with the kick drum and the snare drum and the cymbals and everything, you can just pound these speakers. It's become the standard. All this gear is in my studio. It's basically resembling what was in the big rooms. If you want to sound as good as me, you should get these speakers, you know. Your drums will sound like me. Just joking. <laughs>